Well, you guys asked for it. I guess you either really like rock types or you were just morbidly curious. But this week we've got Shuckle, the mold Pokemon. No, I'm not talking about mold like the stuff that's in my fridge, but mold like the thing you use for a sculpture. And what can I say about Shuckle? It's, uh, it's notably Kira of SSBM Tutorial's favorite Pokemon, for some reason. Uh, you get this thing pretty randomly in Cianwood City from a trainer who is afraid that he's gonna get bullied and have his Pokemon taken away. God, that bodes well for Shuckle, huh? Well, when I first saw it, I thought it looked pretty cool, but then as I had it on my team later in my adventure through Silver, I found out that it doesn't really do... And I, I mean, who knows? Cian Wood Turtle Thing? What does it do? Does it do things? Let's find out. In this video, we'll be covering these popular competitive formats. Whoa, base 230 defenses? Holy crap, this Pokemon must be impossible to kill, you say. Surely that must make up for its literally worst stats in the game in every single other area. Seriously, Shuckle's defense and special defense may be the best ever, but its speed and special attack are tied for the worst. At least it's only third worst in attack and HP. Yeah, that's right, HP, a pretty vital stat for any would-be wall. Now before we talk about what other things some Pokemon could do to Shuckle, let's talk about what things Shuckle could do to them first. Oh, I'm sorry, I meant thing, singular. It can stall. That's it. Shuckle has one strategy. Wrap something that's not immune to toxic, thereby preventing it from switching. Get it sick, and wait. Its only real choice was between Protect for a more guaranteed longevity and Encore for more annoyance. Now what does Shuckle lose to? A whole lot. If something was immune to Toxic, Shuckle itself could do absolutely nothing to it. And with the introduction of Steel types in Gen 2, Shuckle really had it rough. It also loses to Rest Talk, very common in Gen 2, Heal Bell, and Setup moves if it wasn't running Encore. And even then, it had to predict with Encore because it was so slow. Oh hey, what ran Rest on a Setup move and was the best Pokemon in Gen 2? Yeah, Shuckle's not getting through that. Oh yeah, Seismic Toss and Nightshade bodied it too. So in terms of popularity and being used by people, it really, really wasn't that much use. Gen 3 and Shuckle got... sturdy. Well, at least it can't be fissured anymore. Great. Shuckle absolutely had to be comboed with other trapping Pokemon to work. It had two gimmicks. One was using it as a pseudo Wobbuffet trapper with Encore and Dugtrio, or also packing Magneton to take out Skarmory, using their abilities of Arena Trap and Magnapole. This still lost to Weezing, also it lost to anything not running a setup move like Substitute or Aromatherapy. Also, notice something? Yeah, those Pokemon were all overused in Generation 3. Even though Shuckle itself was never used, sorry spoilers, it needed such robust team support that the only way to run it in overuse was as a gimmick. Or you could run it as, yeah, just defense curl and rollout and hope you survive long enough to become a giant boulder. Good luck with that because base 20 HP made that extremely hard. And in my research, I couldn't even find it on the never used threat list. And there is a never used threat list. It's not even on there. Shuckle? More like Suckle, am I right? But hey, Sandstorm buffs special defense for rock types now. That does mean Shuckle's special defense went all the way up to an enormous 744 with no EV investment if it was in the sand. So that's, uh, something at least. Oh yeah, and it also hates stealth rocks and takes 25% of them for being a bug type. Shuckle in Gen 4 was somewhat predictably still stalling. Much like I'm trying to do for this video because I do not know what other things to say about Shuckle. Okay, 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 fine. There are some things. It could still be sort of annoying with knockoff. Shuckle could knock off items of other Pokemon, as the name implies, but other Pokemon that also have the move could do that too, so uh... Uh, it also appreciated Toxic Spike support, so it didn't have to carry Toxic itself, but that's still pretty risky. And yeah, it gets one more interesting gimmick, and it's admittedly a funny one. With Power Trick, Shuckle could swap its attack and defense, boosting its attack stat all the way up to 614. Unfortunately, of course, it would still be slow as sh**. So you also have to do this under Trick Room or else it's now 10 base defense stats just might let you down. So yeah, that leaves you two turns to attack because you need one for Trick Room, one to switch out, one to Power Trick, and don't forget you're vulnerable after going first that turn. But if you manage to do all of that, then you can wreak havoc, I guess. Oh, oh yeah, and as long as they don't have any priority moves, you just gotta double trick your opponent and hope they have no idea what you're doing. And if you don't want to use Power Trick, I suppose you could try Accupressure in a format without an Invasion Clause. That will at least get you some laughs for sure if you're trying to troll somebody. That is if they don't have Taunt, of course. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Gen 5, Weather Wars, yeah, Shuckle's not surviving that. 
It liked sand, but that was around before, and it was heavily outclassed by all other sand better fitting Pokemon. So surprise, surprise, most players, if they were actually using Shuckle, usually decided to Toxic Stall again. And oh yeah, some people like to put Stealth Rock on it too. It got one more gimmick in the move Power Split, which allowed it to sort of boost while not completely sacrificing its defenses, but chances are Shuckle still couldn't do much with whatever fire power it gained. Knockoff was run again to get rid of Eviolite, because surprise, Shuckle actually fought a lot of not fully evolved Pokemon down in Never Use, and it was still worse than some of them. At least Sturdy is somewhat useful now. Not that Shuckle is going to get one hit KO'd usually, but still had that going at least. Though if Sturdy wasn't your cup of tea, you could also try Contrary with Shell Smash, I guess. To be completely honest with you, I'm just trying to cover all the grounds even though it doesn't change the playstyle that much. But yeah, Shell Smash with Contrary allows you to increase Shuckle's defenses to absurd levels. Then, after that, you can sit there unopposed, I guess. Except to Taunt. And Steel types. And Poison types. And, uh... And Roar, you know, you get it already. In VGC though, to my surprise, there actually is a few Shuckle sets. There's a set with Power Split where Shuckle can actually average its horrible attack and special attack with the target Pokemon. This means that you can actually weaken your opponent's attack prowess should you be able to get this off. Of course, with Power Split, there is also Guard Split, which does the same thing except for defense and special defense. You would typically want to use this on your own Pokemon in order to boost their defenses. Shuckle's slow speed also allows it to function within Trick Room. But as far as limitations go, Shuckle is weak to one of the most popular moves in VGC called Rock Slide, which doesn't help its low HP. It also is weak to taunt as usual, but you can use a mental herb to remedy this at least once. Finally, it really doesn't like rain team since it can get doused by high power water attacks in the rain. And that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple to be honest. It's a simple stationary support Pokemon, I guess. For usage, I found one record of someone getting fifth at a regional with it in 2012. And I don't have any VODs of that, but it happened. Alright, Gen 6, and if you actually like the whole Toxic and Encore set that has been going on for years, well, actually, we've got bad news for you. Shuckle actually got new moves this gen, but it still couldn't get an evolution. With Sticky Web, Shuckle became the only Pokemon in the game to pack both Stealth Rocks and Sticky Web that wasn't named Smeargle, which is actually pretty cool. Sure, Taunt, Trick, Magic Bounce, and a host of hazard removal screwed it over. But Shuckle actually did have countermeasures. It ran a Mental Herb for Taunt, and with Encore, it is honestly less vulnerable to getting set up on than other Pokemon. Its last move slot actually was pretty flexible, which is pretty crazy because before it kinda didn't have four useful moves. But Toxic, Infestation, and Knockoff all had their own reasons for being used. It still had a ton of problems like competition with Smeargle, and yeah, all the numerous things we've talked about before, but with the right sweeper, Shuckle could sometimes facilitate other Pokemon to carry, and it actually got banned from rarely use, to Borderline 2. Which means on paper, it's actually not that strong enough to be considered underused, but it's still better than never used. So yeah, maybe things are looking up for Shuckle after all. And that's it, so how good was Shuckle actually? Yeah, it was bad until maybe Gen 6, but I hope you guys are happy you chose it. It just sits there and does nothing. Nothing. Staring at you, hoping you'll die of poison while it just slides in and out of its damn shell. All jokes aside, Shuckle isn't so great because its shoddy playstyle of sitting there and slowly annoying the other player never changed since its debut. Sure, it got some new tricks with those weird moves like Power Trick, Guard Split, or whatever, but my point is it just overall plays the same every time, making it quite predictable. At least in Gen 6, it fulfilled a more useful role. But yeah, overall, I'm sorry Kara, Shuckle sucks. Thanks for watching everyone! As always, if you liked the video and want to see more, be sure to subscribe for False Wipe Gaming for more Pokemon content, and of course, comment on what Pokemon you want next. Also, thank you so much to our patrons for making these videos possible, but also thank you to our regular viewers because you guys are all important to me. And of course, follow my crew on the social media platforms, and that's it, I got nothing left, just like Shuckle. Alright, see you guys next time!